Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be just about FPV noise in general and this is going to be a series that I'm planning on going through with and to help people debug and figure out where the noise is coming from. So this is just going to be a brief overview of some of the common issues with noise that are easily easily fixable and how to look for them and how to fix them. Um, it's not going to go into depth but we will take each method into more depth on each episode that will come out. And obviously only if you guys are interested. So if you guys would want to see stuff like this, I'll leave a comment down in the section below. And if you guys want to see it, then of course I'll just jump right ahead and get started on it. Now, th let's just start with the most... Uh, most of the time this happens to everyone, it happens to myself and I've had this through my personal experience because I've, I've had a lot of problems with noise and I was able to fix them and debug them and figure out a couple techniques that might help you guys out there. So let's just say you built a quad or you've had your quad for a while, flying beautiful, no noise, nothing. Uh, you had a couple crashes here and there, here and there and all of a sudden noise just started to appear. This one is pretty good I really like this one because now what you, first thing you want to do is you want to take a look at your ESCs make sure they're not damaged they didn't get hit by a propeller um, I mean if you're running a 4-in-1 ESC you should be totally fine uh, you will see a, a broken wire and those, that motor won't work so that doesn't really go in the air now if your ESCs are fine what you want to take a look at is well this one doesn't have one your SMA port or RP SMA port because these bad boys tend to come off or break or a couple pins break off and it's just barely hanging and it vibrates and the vibrations is what would cause the noise and it's just an easy fix just resolder it on or just change it out because the, this does happen to me a lot and it's happened to many people who've also told me the same thing and I told them just check your SMA port thoroughly check it don't just look at it take a look nice look at it try to move it and if you have another VTX stick another one on there 99% of the time that would be the issue and it's helped a lot of people and this is what I look for as soon as something starts making noise out of nowhere. So d don't expect that to show up right away. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it takes a while. Um, and uh, usually it does get worse and worse as time goes on but sometimes it doesn't. So that's just something to take note of as soon as you, uh, as soon as you start seeing it. It's very important. However, also, uh, you also take note of every time you've changed your PIDs because a bad tune can create noise even with a low ASR capacitor and some voltage regulators. It's happened to me before. So bad tunes can actually create noise. For example, the other day I had one of my quads I was flying. I increased the yaw eye term and it's just terrible noise it just popped out of nowhere. So I knew something was wrong obviously. Um, so I started black boxing it and that video will be coming up later on uh, in this series so I could show you that even a bad tune or some, you know, it could generate noise. Like for example, high D is well known to generate noise even if you didn't have any noise and you had everything set up for to reduce noise, it could still generate noise in your feed. So that's something to take note of. Um, if you have done that and all of a sudden noise start popping up, go back to your, change your PID profile, reset it and just start over try a different method of uh, tuning your quad because that's very important all right so now let's just say we built a quad and from the beginning we had noise all right and now let's just say we had an osd um, and the osd there's no flickers it's running good it doesn't disappear so now we know the 5 volt regulator is clean and it's our vtx okay so the VTX is pretty simple now. Um, you either power it off a 12 volt if your board has 12 volt or you're taking it straight from the battery. That's what we're doing here. So when you take it straight from the battery and it has noise, the first thing I always do is I bring a low ESR capacitor and I just pop it in place because they're very cheap and fixes it or reduces the noise. That's good. That's awesome. But you, it's still bothering you. Then the next step is to go grab a voltage regulator a little tiny one like i use in my ev100 uh, mod those i have those all over the place i have a bunch of those in my house those always come in handy i do love them so i would grab one of those and i'll leave a link to the stuff i'm talking about in the description below so that one 
what I have noticed, let's say you actually added the one I showed you on the link down there and you put it on 12 volt and there's just noise without even doing anything. Well, yes, that's totally fine because I've been testing these guys and I find them to have noise on specific voltages. But when you put it between 8.2 to 8.3 volts, it's clean. It runs the cleanest between 8.3 and 8.4 volts. And I'll be showing you guys that on the oscilloscope uh, within this series so you guys can see that for yourself. So if you put this and it reduced noise and you brought that voltage regulator, set it to between 8.2 to 8.4 volts, and then route that to your VTX, that should clean 99% of everyone's problems if the noise issue was on the VTX. And you should be very good. However, we're done there. But let's just say for, for some reason, you still had noise. Well, that could be down to, also I would ask you to double check your SMA. And I would also ask you to double check your ESCs if they didn't have any damage and to change your tune maybe drop the d as a start drop the yi term drop some drop some stuff see if it'll fix something or go in the black box if you know what to look for in black box so that's what i would ask for you to do but if it's still there then you would need a lc filter i'll leave a link down in the description below to a couple of lc filters i found i'll be testing those very soon i bought a bunch of them and um just have not had the time to really go through at them you know, I'll be putting up the video on all this stuff very soon after this. Um, so now we finished with the VTX noise. Now the noise that I hate and the one that you really don't want to see because it's, sometimes it's easy to fix, sometimes you can't fix it. Sometimes it's fixable but with a lot of pain to fix, which is the 5 volt regulator that's powering your OSD. So this is the OSD flicker and you know, just disappearing on throttles. I hate that because that one's very difficult to clean out. So what you want to do is obviously clean, try to clean out the overall system by adding a low ESR capacitor. I mean, that's all you could really do or one to each ESC, depending on what you have. Uh, little B Summers, Little B ESCs are the noisiest ESCs I've tested. And um, they're just known to just burn out components because their voltage spikes are so terrible. And they just, just push that amps back in. I don't know what's wrong with them, but they're just absolutely terrible. And if you do have them, just add a low ESR capacitor to each of them. Um, it'll, it'll make your life a lot better. Now, if you do add a low ESR capacitor to each ESC, let's just say, and the flicker is still there, then... You know, one of your last resort is to try to clean out that 5 volt regulator after your overall system seems pretty clean. What you would want to do is you get a smaller or whatever, any size low ESR capacitor, and you would find the 5 volt pads on the uh, flight controller because it, it'll be taking, the OSC would be taking from the 5 volt regulator. So what you want to do is you get that low ESR capacitor and you set it on the 5 volt pads like you're powering off your camera or something. That should help it can work and sometimes it doesn't work so it's kind of like a hit and miss thing sometimes it works beautiful through my testing sometimes it did work and for other people sometimes it doesn't work and for me sometimes it doesn't work so that's something to take note of and that could help you i mean it gives you hope to still try it but the type of noise that i truly hate is osd flickers when i see that i just get i just get frustrated um it's just it's very annoying it's not a big problem to most but to me i just it's very frustrating I really don't like it so that's something to take note of um, what else do we have here oh yeah another thing also even an unbalanced prop with oscillations could even generate noise sometimes maybe like your quads like on the brink of noise being generated into the system and you had a bad prop which is oscillating weird and uh, that could induce noise you know depending on your d-term and, and depending on many things that can also introduce noise to your system also if your motors are hot if you feel your motors your motors are hot and you weren't really flying that hard then you and you do have noise it could be only just a tuning issue and if you tune it out and just fly it just have it all smooth out it'll be totally just perfect because you know um, I, I believe your motors are trying to overcorrect themselves and they're just physically unable to do it that quick it's like impossible you know um, in, in, in physics or whatever you want to call it so it's very much impossible so what it does is I believe it just you know it just doesn't know where to go with that voltage and the amps and it just gets pushed right back in and thus making the noise so um so it'll probably let's just for example say it, the flight controller told it to go here three 
and then all of a sudden, like before I even went to the first, it asked it to go back three or something, or just stop, um, and thus making very bad problems here, and um, that's why you would see noise. And sometimes, you know, PID tuning noise, like a bad tune noise, is almost impossible sometimes, not always. Very difficult to clean out with components. Um, I have noticed this once, but I need to go into it into more detail. But that's just something to take note of because it's it's. I believe it's 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 very plausible and very true. Um, but I I don't take my words for it just yet until I go into it more in detail and actually go test this out. And um, yeah, well. Um, for example, uh, why am I saying this right now? Well, I have a quad with the LC filter, voltage regulator, low ESR capacitor, flying beautiful, played with the tune. It's just noise. Ridiculous, huh? <laughs> um, it wasn't that bad of noise but before, but it was it was totally okay. It was acceptable. But all that stuff, it was very clean. And I just upped like the yaw eye term five, five points and I just got that noise. So that was pretty weird. Um, so that's where I get that idea from and I actually want to go into it more into detail So like I said if you guys are interested in this series just um, Let me know and we can continue this on and um, if not then I guess uh, there's no need to right But I'm very interested and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be very interested and I'd find it very useful So I'm just giving you guys everything that I've seen from my experience And um, if anyone wants to share theirs in the, in the comments that would be awesome uh, I would love to read it and I'm sure others would as well and yeah, so that's really going to conclude it for the first part of this series, guys. If we do continue decide, if we decide to continue on, and um, yeah, well, that's all I could really say right now. And um, I'll leave the links to the LC filters and the voltage regulators down below. And if you could use my links down there, it would go a very long way to support the channel and help me get more things in to just test and just to check out for us so um yeah so that's gonna conclude you guys i really hope you guys liked the video and i will see you next time see you guys take care